That's a reasonably popular little stretch of greenway. A mix of bicyclists, jogger or two, strolling. We've got it all. Dog walking, I think that was happening as well. like the basic material that Massachusetts bike paths have almost always been. Crushed rock, sometimes referred to as rock dust. Here's some more of that granite block stuff. Yeah, it's a very good spot for viewing the firmament, so to speak. Another little bit of lake access. Mapping, a little bit of signage, maybe some cute little blaze concept. Then we have a working system pretty much. Pretty quiet on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> Look at this mushroom. A little quiet woodsy bank. A midden pile of discarded shells. Funny little vernacular trail, sort of. Blackberries ripening, interlaced with something from the nightshade family, it looks like. Yeah, a nice 
nice little mini meadow zone. There's the way we came, and it's all very park-like. Appropriately a parkway. Someone fishing. I don't know what the heck you catch here. like the seagulls are going nuts feeding on herring. We'll have to investigate that. Sitting by the lake in a little quiet spot. There's funny vernacular trails presumably used by fishers and others. The main body of the Mr. River Greenway is back this way. And you can see it's possible to find an impressive degree of green quietude. Digression followed by a return to the basic greenway. A cool Vinca gone wild. There's a number of ground covers, and this would be your alternate quasi vernacular trail if you wanted to follow the lakeside woods. Funny little golf cart thing that sort of patrols the road edge. So this is cool. Here's the remnants of some old barrier. Oh, we're working our way up towards the seagull herring fest. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see what it turns into. Yeah, here's more evidence of decayed commonwealth infrastructure back before the place was overrun by cheapskates and crooks. <laughs> idyllic. I'll have to look at my crap maps at some point to determine if we're actually in Winchester. I suspect we may be. Let's spot some more mushrooms that will require some attention. Oh, there's some other ones. Not the 
rains really got them showing up. It's like no sooner do you get the parade of blossoming one finds in May and June, but then July arrives and it's mushrooms. Plus I'll go up to Andover soon and determine the fate of the bottled gentian. Another outlet from the old days of dumping in the lake. Yeah, it's a nice mix of user constituencies. Bicyclists, joggers, power walkers, the occasional doofus like me just taking it all in. Ah, yeah, you can see more of a informal trail lace work over here. And then tracks from some kind of vehicle, maybe that golf cart thing I observed. kind of drive entrance, probably to a place where you swim, and I bet you also goes to that dam, we shall see.